On this chosen conversation today, I want to welcome you and let you know that I am so glad that you are here with me today. But I also wanted to mention that God revealed to me that he is saying to you today that he's going to make his voice clear so that you will know it is him. See, a lot of you are asking for things and wanting confirmations on some of the things that you have prayed for. You're waiting on this answer. You don't know when it's God and when it's not God. But God is saying that in this time, in the next few days, I'm going to make it abundantly clear that it's me. I'm going to speak to your heart in such a way that there is not going to be any confusion. There's not going to be any doubt. There's not going to be any fear. You will know it is me. Thus said the Lord. Because depending on what we have going on sometimes, it, it gets cloudy. Our connection to God gets you know, static in it. We're not really tuned into the frequency of him to really hear what we should be hearing. But God woke me up this morning in prayer to let me know, to let you know that he's going to be crystal clear to you in this season. He's going to speak to you in a way that only you'll be able to understand. And if you are looking for a sign, the Lord is saying that this is your sign. This is your wonder to let you know that I'm speaking to you today. God is saying that there's no need for you to doubt God going forward any longer that I'm going to reveal myself, my word, my way, and everything that you have been praying for. And I'm going to speak into your heart. I'm going to speak into your spirit to where you'll know that it's crystal clear and that it is me. And God wanted me to break down some ways that you'll know when he's dealing with you and when he's speaking with you. And the first thing that I get often is this question how can I hear from God? And you hear by God, you hear from God by doing this one thing, Psalm 51, 10 through 12, create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. That means to let go of anything that's contaminating your heart, your mind, and your soul so that you can clearly hear from God. But after I hear from you, God, what is the next step? Like, what should I do next? That's Psalm 86, 11, and 12. Teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth and unite my heart to fear thy name. That means to honor, to to respect, to be obedient to the name of the Lord. So once I cleanse my heart and I hear from you, then what do I do? I activate this. I will praise thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify their name forevermore. That means it doesn't matter what's showing up in your life. If it opposes what you have been asking for, praise God anyway. It doesn't matter if you're feeling doubt today, release doubt and embrace a praise Cleanse your heart so that you can hear from God and activate it with some praise and some exalting the name of the Lord. Then God is saying, when you do those things, you will hear me calling you. Psalms 27 and 8, my heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. God is saying that at this time, I want you to come and talk to me, that the elements around you are not done shifting and things are not done changing. As a matter of fact, it's going to get a little worse before it gets better. And God is saying that I want to have the connection line with you so that you will come and talk to me. This means that you're not talking to me only when things are going bad in your life. You're not talking to me only when you want something like I'm a genie in a bottle for you. You don't come to me and talk to me because there's no one else to talk to. God is saying that in this time that he wants your heart so pure in communion with him that talking to him is like a regular occurring thing that you do, like brushing your teeth, washing your face, taking a bath and eating food. God I said, I want to be that regular in your routine. I want to be that regular in your daily activities. I want to be that regular in just regular conversation. Come and talk to me. 
And then after you do that, but how do I do this? I can hear many of you say, but God, how can I talk to you? I'm not a good prayer, or I don't know what to say, or I just don't know. I'm confused and I'm lost. And that leads me over to John 14, 5 through 6, when Thomas said to the Lord, we don't know where we are, where you are going. So how can we know the way? And that's when Jesus answered in verse 6, that I am thy way and the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. In this season, God is saying, I'm going to speak to you where it is crystal clear. There will be no doubt in your mind that it is me. I want you to go through the steps that you, you're you hearing right now. I want you to study my son's ministry. I want you to learn my son's ways. I want you to put on the helmet of salvation and Christ consciousness in this hour because things are beginning to change. And in this hour, if you're disconnected from me, you will miss what I'm doing in the earth. God is saying, I want to talk to you. I want to clarify things where you know that it's me. I don't want any doubt in your mind. I want you to exalt me, worship and praise me so that I can inhabit your atmosphere. God is saying, I want you to come to me so that I can speak to your heart through my son. And I tell you the truth, everything that you desire in the will of God, it shall be done. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I still believe in you. Bye now.